How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Restaurant Rex. I'm your host, Michelle, and for this week, we have a special edition of Cheat Meals. That's right, you heard it here first. So everyone from the front desk will be sharing their restaurant recommendation for their favorite cheat meals. So let's get started. What's going on, guys? It's Andrew, and we are about to go through my restaurant cheat so we can't really go to this place now but before when we were in normal times i used to go to this place called sea pot and sea pot is a hot pot place but instead of one giant pot in the middle everyone gets their own personal pots and what they do is they have a rotator belt going around with all your sides all your vegetables noodles seafood fish cakes everything and then you just grab what you want you order meat with the wait staff and there you go and what i do beforehand is i lift like crazy and then I just go in there hoping that all of that food goes straight to the gains. But yeah, if you go, Sea Pot is in San Mateo and they offer a great deal. Lunch, I believe, is 16 bucks around there and dinner is about 25 bucks. But it is worth it every time, guys, I swear. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Hey everybody, Brianne here with the front desk and I'm here to share with you my favorite go-to cheat meal. I always love eating chicken sandwiches. You can never go wrong. But my favorite chicken sandwich is from world famous Hot Boys in the Uptown Oakland area. And let me tell you, their chicken sandwiches are so good. Their chicken is flavorful, it's juicy, it keeps its crunch throughout the day. And if you like some spice, they have very different levels of spiciness and it is next level. The spiciness doesn't overpower the chicken, that flavor is still there. And it comes in a brioche bun with some slaw and pickles. I scratch pickles because I'm not a big pickles fan, but the slaw is a nice balance between the spiciness of the chicken. Not much going on with the sandwich, but the flavors are phenomenal. Other than the chicken sandwich, I've also tried the bonuts, which is a cross between a biscuit and a donut with cinnamon sugar on top. So if you're craving something sweet, you should try that as well. They also have a second option of getting it spicy. So if you really like spice, the chicken sandwich wasn't enough for you, try out their spicy bonuts. It's a nice little treat. Get a cheat meal in, enjoy yourself, and man, let me tell you, try it now. World's Famous Hot Boys in Uptown Oakland. See you guys. Hey guys, it's Michelle here, and I'm here to share with you my favorite restaurant recommendations for a great cheat meal. So I have a really big sweet tooth and I always stop by this place as one of my favorites. It's called Bee Patisserie at 2821 California Street in Pack Heights District of San Francisco. They're currently open Friday through Sunday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. for walk-in orders or you can order online on their website at beepatisserie.com. They are also well known for all their baked goods, tartines, desserts, you name it, they probably got it. So what Bee Patisserie is well known for is their Queen Amons and they have a variety of different types that they like to make. And there's a lot of delicious seasonal ones that I love to get when I'm over there. The first item we have over here is their seasonal Queen Amons. And for this one, it was the peach and berry Queen Amon flavor. I thought the sweetness of the berries and the peaches complemented the flakiness of the Queen Amon really well. They also have their original and chocolate available for purchase the next item we have here is their chocolate banana almond croissant. It is one of my absolute favorites that my brother and I love to grab and we never leave the patisserie without one. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Restaurant Rex Cheat Meal Edition. Tune in next week for part two of our Cheat Meal Edition. And don't forget to like with the thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you guys and see you all next week.